Today's video is tricks in Counter-Strike 2 that still work in 2025. If you want a part 2, let me know. Enjoy. Starting over on Anubis today, one of my favorite tricks on Anubis is actually jumping off to the right or the left here. And what's really neat about this is that instead of just dropping like this and dropping into someone's crosshair, this just gives you a better chance to get down and fight. So you're just jumping from up there to here or you're jumping to here. The left side's a lot more straightforward, but jumping on the right can be really cool because you can land onto this and then you can just walk backwards twice and you're gonna silent drop back down to here, allowing you to just peek out like so. And this player playing in towards E-Box may hear this basket and they'll potentially be aiming up towards here waiting for you to swing. So next time you come to drop in towards the canal, give this a try. Over towards a site, this is a much older trick that could be used and it's basically just a silent drop onto the a site. So push yourself into this corner here from up on heaven and you wanna find this scaffolding here. You wanna to go to the top of the left and you wanna go one over to the right. So it's just this second one on the left. And you just wanna run with your knife out and you can pull your gun out in midair so it's ready to go. And that's going to be completely silent. Is it useful? Potentially. Is it cool? Absolutely. Coming over to Mirage now, if you've taken B side as the terrorists and you have bomb down, a really nice corner to sit in to play towards market is this one right here. I do not know why, but no one clears this corner and if you're versing me, I'm 100% in this corner if it's a B take. I'm not sure why people don't clear it, but people just think that it might not be that deep, but it really is. And if you wanna really get naughty, you can have a teammate jump onto this bin here and jump onto your head. Let's just hope the rest of your team's gonna cover short naps. Coming down to bottom mid now, just an easy little trick that you don't really see in pug matches, and that's just boosting in this position here to get an angle in towards jungle. It's really easy to set up. What makes this spot so good is that you can just catch anyone off guard that's potentially watching Palace and coming back towards mid as it might be smoked off, or watching anyone coming in through the rotate through vent. And if you do manage to get a pick, you can easily jump into the window with ease. Coming over to Tetris now, everyone knows you can jump over here, but a lot of people don't actually know that you can do it silently. And all that requires is for you to press S on your keyboard as you're about to land. So this is without pressing, but if you press S, it'll be completely silent. This is just one of those tricks that everyone needs to know as it could be so easy yet so impactful towards the round. Coming over to Dust 2 now, I showed this position a very long time ago in one of my older videos and basically it's just a pixel ledge up here. They still haven't patched it. So you're just gonna need to get boosted in this position and you wanna find the right hand side of this windowish part here and just do a jump crouch up. It is a bit tough to find, but as you see, it's still well and truly in the game, and you are 100% accurate up here. Coming over to Ancient now, if you did remember this floodlight here, you used to be able to jump on it, and sadly this has been patched. But luckily we've got two floodlights that you can still jump on, and this one's in towards red here. All you have to do is jump up on the left part here, and just jump up towards the floodlight. You can see up towards shelf from here, you see through this lantern, which actually has breakable glass. So that can make it easy for you to see. Or if you just get in the right position, you can sit here without any of your shadow showing and you can just stand above the floodlight. And this is just a really easy way to potentially catch someone off guard without even realizing that you could be up there. Same goes for AMA and if you just come up onto this left side here, you can actually just jump up onto this floodlight still, still in the game and you can watch towards A. This one is much more practical and I recommend that you give it a go. Coming over to CT Inferno now, if you may or may not remember, you actually used to be able to get on top of these door frames just here. It would be that one there, this one here, and this one here. Now keep in mind with this one here and this one here, you actually had to get boosted up onto them. But since those have been patched out, this one here, you could jump up into this window. And as you see, you can still get into this window here, but it's not possible to get up onto this. As sadly, they have patched it out, but for God knows what reason, they've kept this one in. So if you're ever in a position where you're holding for exits, maybe give this spot a go. They just might not expect it. And for the last trick of this video is something that I truly believe could work on an eco round in a pro game. And all that requires is for you to have three people jump up on towards this radiator here. As long as the first person goes as far forward as possible, you can get at least two people on top of his head, allowing all three of you to just watch this position and take out anyone with ease. Stacking like this reminds me of FlyQuest on Ancient, how they five stack boost on A side watching towards a main so if anyone from FlyQuest is watching this please give this a go if you enjoyed the video be sure to like and comment and if you learnt at least one new thing subscribe if you want a part two of this let me know and i'll get it done hope you have a good day or night and cheers